And on the mound, again, it's the same matchup we saw in Atlanta. Charlie Morton going against this guy, Javier Assad. Leadoff walk will do. Ronald Acuna trots down to first base. A leadoff walk to one of the top stolen base threats in all of baseball. Cub killer, Ozzy Albies. Swing and a miss, struck him out. Albies is gone. Albies way out in front, and down he goes. No score top of the first a man at first and the batter is Marcel Ozuna Ronald does break for second and there is stolen base number 15 on the season for Ronald Acuna Junior three and two now Assad line drive center field Bellinger is there he makes the catch here's two away broken bat in the air Swanson grabs it Olsen retired and Javi pitches around a leadoff walk. And Charlie Morton trying to bounce back from that first loss of the season last time out against Chicago. Good start here. Looked like he went. Yes. Punched out by Brian Knight down there at third base. One away. A check down again, and he went. So Talkman swinging. Suzuki swinging. Two away. Pretty far out right there in the dirt, but Suzuki could not hold up. You can see that barrel come around. And he walked him. So back to back strikeouts and then back to back walks. And the Cubs with a two out threat and an opportunity for Ian Hatt. Inconsistent in terms of command. But I get the sense with both starters here tonight, they're fully aware of the conditions with the wind blowing out. They're pitching away from contact. The wind is howling a bit 20 to 25 miles an hour. And folks, it is blowing out to left. So if these right handed hitters get into the ball, it could go a long way. And this will be Charlie's 25th pitch here in the first inning. It's a good one. A curveball, Uncle Charlie. He works around a couple of walks and sends us to the second inning. Travis Darno climbs in. Ground ball out to first, backhanded over there by Michael Bush, and his throw to first base gets through a side. Cubs have not played great defense this year. Travis Darno getting a freebie to get aboard at first base. On that air charge to a side. Swag and a miss, and Assad able to get Harris a strikeout, his second one away. One down, and here's Orlando Arcia. This ball is hit high in the air to left center. The wind blowing out that way, and it's going to take it right into the bleachers. Orlando Arcia, see you later. As Arcia gives the Braves a 2 to nothing lead in inning number two. 420 feet into the jet stream. And that's why it's so important on a night like tonight to make plays. You know, outs should be outs. Don't walk guys. Don't set them up for a big inning. And he issues a free pass to Zach Short, so he's scuffling a little bit here in the second inning. 3 1 from Assad. That ball is smoked left center. It's going to find the grass. Runners at second and third with one out. And now back to the top of the order. And Acuna. Got it. And Acuna has gone on strikes. Big strikeout. As he painted the outside edge, uh, he's having to work hard. And that was pitch 50 with two outs here in just the second inning. On the ground, Bush is there, underhand, and Assad gets over, and he got him on the curveball. Or they had one and two. Nico waits. Here it comes. He's got it. All four outs so far for Morton have been via the K. Four strikeouts, three walks, a hit batter, and an infield single. Funky, crazy game so far here tonight. Braves getting the two run homer in the top of this inning, and now the Cubs try to strike right back. Base is loaded. Bottom of the second. Tuckman awaiting a 2 1. Hammered right field, base hit. And the Cubs are on the board. It's now 2 to 1. Base is still loaded. Base is juice, one down, 2 2. Got him. Change up running in on the hands. Yeah, that's a big strikeout for Charlie Morton. Man, that is such a great pitch and probably the last thing that is on the mind of Suzuki. Cup Cubs need a big swing of the bat from Bellinger. He has done it all last year. They need one now. That one inside. It kicks away from Darno. Swanson is in to score. It'll be a pass ball. And we're tied up at two. Charlie trying to keep this game tied. Long run for Zach Short, but he gets there in foul ground and keeps the game tied at two apiece. Well, as strenuous as the second inning was, this was one of the easiest innings of the season for Charlie, and he needed it. Well, three ground balls in the top of the third and three weak grounders in the bottom of the third inning. Let's see if the Braves get back on track of the plate. Michael Harris leads off. Michael Harris gives this a ride to left field, and he shoots it into the bleachers. A line drive homer 
off the bat of Michael Harris and Atlanta is back on top. Not even a bad pitch just a sinker away Michael squared it up got it in the jet stream made use of that Wrigley wind. Yeah again the, the way the wind's blowing here tonight uh, it feels like one of those games where you're going to have to score eight or nine runs to win it. The other way this one is given a ride and it's over the glove of Suzuki. So Arcia had a two run homer in the second and now he's got a double here in the fourth. What a start to the series for Orlando Arcia. Well, a four pitch walk to Jared Kelnick, so he's reached in both of his plate appearances. Hagging and going to third is Arcia. Kelnick holds it first. Two outs, two on. Ozzie Albies the batter. And that one drilled to left. Going back is Hat, and he makes the catch. And well done by Assad after giving up the leadoff homer and gets out of the gym. One two pitch, and Bush goes down swinging. Good fastball. Making whatever adjustments are necessary to get back on track mid game. And this has got some good run on it. 93 miles an hour just off the plate. Swanson returning to the lineup. He's been out with a right knee sprain. That one line. Fair ball down the line. It kicks off the sidewall and into the corner. And Dansby into second. He's got a single and a double. Welcome back, Dansby. That's ball four. He'll take the walk. The number nine hitters in this game have come up four times and they have walked four times. Trying to recalibrate right here versus Talkman, who's one for two. Oh, one pitch, a hard hit ball, deep center field. This could be trouble. Harris back to the wall. He leaps into the air and brings it down. What a catch by Michael Harris. Straight away center field, went right up into the air to the warning track. Absolutely fearless, knowing that a brick wall is right behind him. And now Bort with a 1 1 pitch. Grounded to Zach Short. He gobbles it up, makes the throw to Ozzie. And the Braves are still on top three to two as we march to the fifth. And that's ball four. So the leadoff man is on base. And Olsen is going on strikes. Matt Olsen strikes out. And he's 0 for three. And with the pitch count as high as it is, over 100 pitches, that'll be the end of the day for Javier Asa. Correct Council is making a pitching change for the Cubs. Zuna at third, Harris at second. Miller, a 2 2. And he struck him out. Got him with the fastball. And Miller gets the Cubs out of the jam as the Braves strand two. 2-2. Two, two. And Bellinger is down, chasing the curveball. Seven strikeouts for Charlie Morton. Now Ian Happ stands in. Switch hitter batting to the left side against the right-hander Morton. Happ swings and lines one to right. This will one-hop off the ivy. Happ digging for second base, and he gets there easily, standing up with a two-out double. Two down. Here's a 2 2 pitch from the veteran righty. He got him. Curveball away. And Charlie Morton gets through five. Dezbel Hernandez will take over. Here is a swing and a high pop up left side of the infield. Zach Short drops the ball. Drops the ball. Bush is safe at second base. Good job by Michael Bush to run that out onto the outfield grass. It hit his glove and popped out. And again, Ron, nothing is routine when it's this windy and the ball is dancing around in the wind the way it is. So Amaya on for the third time. Two walks and now a single. And with one out, runners at first and third. Top of the order in Tuckman. Like Tuckman here. Tuckman one for three with an RBI single. Line drive, base hit. There's another RBI. And the Cubs have tied it up at three. Tuckman delivers. Full count. Payoff pitch in the air. Ozzie Albies going out. Harris coming in. And Harris got it. A shoestring grab by the Braves center fielder. This one he had to sprint in to make a great play. Did he stop his bat? He did not. And Hernandez able to get a frustrated Cody Bellinger to keep this in three apiece. Mark Leiter Jr. coming in. Meanwhile, the Braves have met at first and second. Nobody out. What a job by Mark Leiter Jr. He strikes out Matt Olson, Travis Darno, and Michael Harris the second in succession. And the go-ahead run is on. Ian Happ lines one caught by Olson, and he'll double off Morrell. Quick as lightning. Two outs on the board. That's a huge out for Jesse Chavez. Man, he stung that ball hard directly to Olsen, and Morrell was a statue leading off a of first. He had no place to go. Just a one-two pitch. 
Got him looking strike three. Wow. Oh, it all turned around after that double play, didn't it? Sure did. Good inning for Jesse. Hector Neris on here. 19th appearance at a 265 ERA. In the air, shallow right field coming on. Says and he made the grab. What a play by Say as he steals a hit from Acuna. Dangerous hitter here. Bounce to third. Morell throws it out. And we'll go to the bottom of the ninth. The Cubs will try and win it. And yeah, we wondered what the Braves would do. They will bring in the lefty bummer. He's got the top of the order. And there are two away. Bellinger. High pop. Harris has it. Extra innings in Chicago to start the series. Will be the big left-hander Luke Little. Here's Dardone. On the ground. Swanson collects. Will throw to third. And they'll put the tag on. Ozuna, well done. <laughs> That's an easy play for Swanson. So two down now, and Harris at the plate. Bounce towards first. Wisdom will take it. Step on the bag, and we're headed to the bottom of the 10th. We go to the bottom of the 10th inning. Cubs have a chance to win it. Braves are going to intentionally walk Christopher Morrell, set up a double play for Ian Happ. And a little dribbler. That's to short. Arcee at a second one, and that's all they get. So now first and third with one out. And the winning run now just 90 feet away for Nico Horner. Chop to the right side. This is going to do it. Bellinger is in. Welcome back, Nico Horner. Cubs win. Bellinger raced down the line and scored easily. There was no throw to the plate. And the Cubs win the ball game in 10 innings by a score of 4 to 3. Nico Horner did not hit the ball hard, but he did the job run. He put the ball in play.